Hi everyone, this is a Valentine's Day inspired look that I've created. If you like how this looks and you want to create this for yourself, please keep watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you're interested to see how I do my brows in a separate video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. All the products that I use are listed in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for your support. Bye. Let's get started. First, I'm applying a NYX eyeshadow base all over my eye, and then I blend that out with my finger. Next, I brush my brows up and out so that I can better see the areas that need to be filled in. I outline my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown, and then I fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I make sure to brush the product through my brows for even distribution. And then I set my brows with the Benefit Speed Brow Tinted Gel. Now I'm carving out my brows with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I blend the product down into the NYX eyeshadow base. And then I blend all that out with my finger again. I'm using the Sigma E40 blending brush to apply Makeup Geek Wisteria eyeshadow. I'm using this as a transition color and I'm applying it all over the crease. Next I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush to apply Matte Cosmetics eyeshadow in Fig 1. I concentrate this color on the outer corner of my eye and then begin dragging it into my crease. And I blend, blend, blend with the Sigma E40 brush to create a seamless gradient effect. Now I'm using the Sigma E25 brush again to apply Matte Cosmetics eyeshadow in Sketch on the outer corner of my eye and I also drag this into my crease but I place it lower than I place Fig 1 and blend, blend, blend again. Now I'm using the Sigma E55 brush to apply the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Marlena all over my lid and I blend out those harsh lines with the Sigma E25 brush. I dip this old Sephora blending brush into the Hourglass Radiant Light Ambient Lighting Powder as a highlight on my brow bone. And now I'm using the Matte Cosmetics 266 brush to create a winged liner. And I'm using the Inglot Gel Eyeliner in number 77. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper to make my liner more precise. Now I'm using tweezers to apply the Boudoir Lashes by House of Lashes. These are gorgeous, they're full, and they're plush. They give you instant bedroom eyes. Now I'm using the MAC 219 Pencil Brush to apply a combination of MAC Cosmetics Fig 1 Eyeshadow, uh, MAC Sketch Eyeshadow, and Makeup Geek's Corrupt Eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Be sure to watch my full face foundation routine. I'm putting the link in the top right corner of this video. But here I'm using the MAC 116 brush to apply Makeup Geek Blush in Hanky Panky to my cheeks. And I'm sweeping the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Radiant Light to my cheeks, chin, and forehead for an extra glow. Now I'm applying the NARS Illuminator in Orgasm to the top of my cheekbones and on top of my brow. I'm setting that with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. And I'm also applying this highlighter down the bridge of my nose. As always, I douse my face with the MAC Mineralized Charged Water Hydrating Spray. And while my skin dries, I'm applying the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Glacé. And then I'm lining my lips with the MAC Lip Pencil in Burgundy. This dusty mauve lip combo is perfect for Valentine's Day. It's not too dramatic, but it's very pretty. Next, I spray Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray all over my face to keep my makeup on all day. And then I apply the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to my bottom lashes. 
this look is complete i hope you enjoy and happy valentine's day guys Thank you.